And you know, today is a very special day and a very sad moment for the Gambian. Because we all know um, Dauda Taraba Yawara, he is the first president of, um, of the Republic of the Gambia. And today we are not going to do much, much. What we're going to do is that we will go inside the parliament to do some um, interview with the people, particularly the people of concerning about Sadawda Karaba Jawara. It's not really easy. May his soul rest in peace. Sadawda Karaba Jawara, continue to rest in peace. Peace. Once again, my name is Musa Trawale, popularly known as VM The Voice. I am the one that is on the ground. On that note, we thank each and everyone that is live with us. On that note, what is your final message to his family and to all Gambians? To send my condolences to every Gambian. Sound out that belong to every family, not only to one family. And to say, let us appraise Allah for giving us the passage of the statue of South Africa. Gambia will never ever have to leave that like South Africa again. Now it is left for us to make sure we not only remember and uphold this legacy, but to copy the way he managed the affairs of this country and the way he treated every Gambia with respect, with dignity and the law he had for human rights and freedom and liberty of the human race. Thank you very much and happy for you and I'm very grateful. Um, yes, um, I'm really impressed about everything. God bless you. Um, as you can see, these are the great leaders of Gambians and they are all here to witness the day. So we are really proud of him and we are proud of all the Gambians who are here to remember him. So on that note, um, I'm really happy. Um, Honorable, sir, how are you? Anyway, you, um, you are live on Home Digital, uh, member caring. Um, tell us, uh, um, how do you feel today? Well, I feel very honored mm -hmm. to be part of this great celebration. Okay. People tend to think that uh, we have to be the money side. But I think we should be celebrating his life, mm -hmm. his achievements. And uh, it is uh, that what makes me very honored mm -hmm. to be part of this gathering. Because we know Sadauda is synonymous with the rule of law. Sadauda is synonymous with democracy. Mm -hmm. Sadauda is synonymous with tolerance. Sadauda is synonymous with peace. And uh, when the whole of Africa mm -hmm. found it fashionable to institute one party rule, he led a crusade mm -hmm. of having multi partisan And uh, his fellow, his colleagues, who were advocates of one party system, converted to a multi party democracy. Okay, uh, now that you are here, how do you feel? Well, I've already told you that I feel very, really very honored mm -hmm. to feel for me to be part of this great country, celebrating the life of uh, an icon, celebrating the life of a great patriot, the father of this nation. Without him, Gambia wouldn't have been what it is. It was when uh, he was president that some of us were able mm -hmm. to take full advantage of what uh, he offered to the nation and we became what we are today. Thank you. And, uh, because of him, that some of us are able to read law and uh, to do a little bit mm -hmm. of our activities and subsequently became politicians. We owe him a great deal of obligation, and I would ask everyone that for each day that we pray, we should also give him freedom so that he continue to be a in peace. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. I'm happy. Sir, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm okay. Um, can you tell us how do you feel um, here um, in the National Assembly? Um, thank you very much. Uh, first of all, let me say Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Um, to witness this um, important occasion of uh, the Gambia. Um, I am... A little bit louder, please. Yeah. I said I'm grateful and mm -hmm. honored to witness this uh, important occasion of the Gambia today. I came home from traveling just right now without okay. even coming to my house um, because I don't want to miss this important day. Um, we have lost a father. I don't call him only a president, but he's a father of the nation. Mm -hmm. 
uh, who have contributed immensely to move this country mm -hmm. to the level that we are today. And we are very proud of him. And, um, I didn't mean that the time have allowed me to have, um, say a lot about it, but it doesn't matter how long you talk about it here, exactly. you can never finish what mm -hmm. Shadow that have contributed immensely throughout his life. That's mm -hmm. why I call him not only a president, but the, the father of the nation. Mm -hmm. He have um, rendered services to this nation throughout his life, even a day or hours before he, 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 he leave us. Um, he have always been a, a, a symbol in mm -hmm. Africa, and I'm sure many Africans have learned from the system. Gambia was a, a country that um, everybody, every Gambian uh, was proud of mm -hmm. in terms of democracy, human rights, uh, respect. And I believe it is now left to us to see and to work towards the betterment of this nation so that one way or the other we can one day uh, be remembered as we are remembering it now. Mm -hmm. It is our responsibility now. They have contributed their quota and we hope um, we, the young Gambians and that are left here, will also appreciate that and want to register this appreciation to the entire nation. And my condolence to the entire Gambia, you know, and to the entire African continent, and to the entire world. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, may his soul rest in peace. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, sir, um, good afternoon once again. Good afternoon. Um, can you tell us what actually brought you to the National Assembly here today? Well, the fact is, we are all mourning the loss of the first head of state of the Gambia, mm -hmm. the person who led the Gambia to independence and also who brought us to republican status. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is what has brought me here. Okay, so how do you feel uh, being here today? Well, it is one, it's a mixture of sadness and grief for someone who worked so hard during uh, the time of his leadership in this nation, the Gambia, and had brought about a lot of development during his period. We saw that most of the parastatals that are now in the, in the country were initiated by him. Okay, thank you. So what is your final sympathies to his family and to all Gambians? Well, the fact is the loss and the grief belongs to all of us. But of course, the family members, they are the ones who, you know, grieve the most. So we will um, console them by asking them to take consolation in God and trust in God. The old man leave arrived good age of 95 of which we need to thank God for. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Good afternoon. Um, what is your name and where do you come from? My name is Mohammed Faraj. Yes. Okay. The son of Sheikh uh, Islam and Haji Ibrahim Yas from Senegal. Mm -hmm. These are my eldest brothers who came with me. Mm -hmm. to represent the family join to the relationship between mm -hmm. former head of state uh, Saddam Al-Jawara with uh, Sheikh Ibrahim, yes. Mm -hmm. It is a long uh, story mm -hmm. between them in Pan-Africanism and in Islam and in uh, Senegambia. Mm -hmm. This is why we leave Senegal early this morning to to represent the family and to represent Sheikh Ibrahim, yes. Mm -hmm to continue to express uh, the relationship between former head of state Saddam Rejawa and Sheikh Ibrahim particularly and the family. Mm -hmm. uh, also on, the, on behalf of uh, our elder brother, the Khalif Sheikh Ahmad Tijan. Mm -hmm. Yes, and his old brothers, Sheikh Mahi, Sheikh Amin and others who are actually in Kaula. They've sent us to represent the family in this uh, great day. Mm -hmm to express our regret for the great loss for this great man, for Africa and for Gambia and for the Islamic Ummah. 
Thank this you. Is why we are here. And tell us, how do you feel after seeing yourself in the National Assembly in Banyun, Gambia? Well, it is a very historic day mm -hmm. since the president will be buried here. Uh, he is the uh, first uh, president of this nation. Uh, he was in the National Assembly. It is very uh, lovely and likely to be bury him here in the National Assembly in, in Gambia. All right. Yes. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Nafaya Pumuli coming be lungo be come be lungo akatete ya nyadile. Be lungo. That's not what I mean. I don't need more than don't need a couple. I don't want that. But I need more than don't. Tala tala na. Tala tala. Tonya lam. So I'm going to be in Bangko. What I'm going to do is I'm going to be in the bank for the fun fun. I'm going to be able to do the same thing. I'm going to be able to do the same thing. I'm going to be able to do the same thing. I'm going to be able to do the same thing. I'm going to be able to do the same thing. I'm going to be able to do the same thing. I am a new woman. Well, I think I'm going to be a little bit of 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 a Amin. Ya berapa pagi? Mr President, His Excellency Adam Kubaro. The first president of the Republic of the Gambia, His Excellency Sadauda Karaba Jawara, was born on May 16, 1924 in Barajari, um, presently the Central River region of the Republic of the Gambia. Sadauda Jawara was the first leader of the People's Progressive Party for more than 40 years, the party that led the Gambian to independence in 1965 and in him the much covert title, the father of the nation. Saudi Arabia served his country with distinction as a veterinary, minister of education, prime minister, and then a president. After a short stint as a veterinary, Saudi Arabia decided to enter politics and became a secretary general for the new um, People's Progressive Party, PPP. He contested and won his first election in 1960 to become a member of parliament and appointed minister of education in cabinet. Jawara later became the leader of People's Progressive Party and the first prime minister of the Gambia after winning the, after winning the general election of 1962. Luckily, the Gambia attained its independence from the United Kingdom under Sir Dawda Jawara in 1965. In 1970, the country became a republic and Jawara was elected its first president. He would later become president of the country for the next three decades, building it from what was described as a improbable nation. In one of sub-Saharan Africa's longest standing multi-party democracies, 
at a time when much of post-independent Africa was yet to embrace democracy. Sadaoda distinguished himself as an avid democrat and strong believer in human rights turning the Gambia into a beacon of hope for Africa. He practiced and preached those values at home and abroad. Indeed, the global reputation led to the establishment of the African Charter on Human and People's Rights, the Banyun Charter, in the Gambia to promote and protect human rights and basic freedoms in the African continent. According to the stakeholders, his peaceful character and attitude earned him the name Karaba, which means the greatest peace. Luckily, Karaba became the blueprint of his character, embodying the spirit of peace through and through. Not only did he succeed in maintaining peace in the Gambia, but he also went on in the search of peace elsewhere in the world, Liberia, South Africa, and among others. Karaba will also be affectionately um, remembered as a loving father and a husband. May he so rest in peace. And to also remind you, Home Digital is behind this show. Once again, my name is Musa Trawale. I am the host and I am popularly known as VM The Voice. Please kindly support us by sharing this video, subscribe, like and share. I am the host and the presenter of Home Digital FM. Once again, I thank you all for your kind attention. May Allah the Almighty continue to guide. Thank you.